guys, what's up? This is Paul, the auto technician from Paul Nash Autos Garage. And today I want to show you this amazing trick that I've uh, come up with. Uh, in case you are in such a predicament, such a situation whereby your battery ran down uh, either overnight, you just forgotten you left an accessory on in the vehicle, uh, the battery ran down, and you have no option in the morning, and maybe you want to rush to a meeting or, or a business deal or whatever. I want to show you a quick trick uh, to get out of this situation and then when you go out there you can have your vehicle checked if it has any uh, charging problem uh, the battery is draining the battery has an issue or whatever the pending or an existing issue can be so <coughs> right now I want us to come and check the voltage of our battery you clearly heard that uh, it wasn't starting the battery wasn't uh, fully charged enough to, to start up the motor so uh, this is my meter right here the meter is already in the 20 volts position so I to connect the, I've already connected my positive uh, meter lead to the positive uh, uh, post of the battery so I want to connect to the negative one and I want you to read the voltage that we have right here there you go we are under voltage uh, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you this quick trick of uh, charging this system to start your vehicle. So, first of all, I want to disconnect this battery. <coughs> you disconnect the battery terminals. Make sure that the, the vehicle is uh, totally isolated from uh, the trick that you want to perform. So that in case of anything, the vehicle will not be damaged. The only thing that will suffer the, the heat will be the battery. The trick that we are going to use, I'm going to connect these leads right here. I want to connect the positive one here. Make sure it's properly fitted. Then I come to the negative one. So the leads are already connected, they are put in place. This is the negative lead, uh, the positive lead. And uh, what we want to use right here is the uh, we want to accomplish that task with a laptop charger. This one here, this charger here is for HP. Uh, that's here like Packard. My laptop, the one that I use for, for auto repairs. So I want to go ahead and connect it right here to this uh, port. This outlet port. It's already connected from the... from the house. Okay guys, so right now I've connected this wire here. connected it inside that uh, little pin that I told you inside this charger so the blue the blue ring that you see is a plastic ring that insulates and uh, separates the negative uh, side of the port or the connector and the positive side so the positive side is located on the inside of the connector the negative side is this one here this big one here shiny one here and so this charger here the output the capacity of this charger is 19.5 uh, volts uh, approximately that is the output of the charger as you can see here the rating <coughs> the wide range input that's 100 to 240 volts uh, which is 1.7 amps uh, at 50 to 60 uh, hertz of frequency and the output is 19.5 volts which is 3.3 amps or 65 watts so since this is 19.5 watts the output and my battery here, the capacity is 12 volts, and the battery has an allowance of even uh, spiking up to 14.9 uh, volts. Uh, there, the alternator of the vehicle does the output that uh, the maximum output from an alternator. This one here will be a quick charge method. You won't let it charge longer than uh, the way it's supposed to be because you don't want to mess up in anything. So, I'm going to connect this one here, this lead here to the this one here I'm going to connect it to the positive side because this is my positive which is here on this uh, jumper wire like that and then uh, my negative lead I'm going to connect it to the negative cable which one which is this one here so there you go uh, right now I can uh, let me go and power up the, the adapter uh, right like that you can see it's powered on now when I come here, my battery is charging right now. Uh, you can see the whole setup the way it is. 
so this is my charger right here my laptop charger this is the connections that I've made here on this uh, laptop charger port and uh, this is my battery and this is the electrical connection right here it's coming from inside the house let us see what we are getting right here the output that we are receiving because this is a quick charge method that can save you a lot of time and energy and uh, stress and I've told you if your battery is okay because what happened with my battery is that I was doing some electrical work uh, on another vehicle and I was using this battery as a backup and it uh, eventually ran down so it couldn't be able to start this engine so right now if you want to confirm that uh, without the meter if you don't have the meter and you want to confirm that it is charging you can remove this positive terminal and you can see some sparks being produced you can see the sparks being produced so the system is charging right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the my positive lead of the multimeter to the positive terminal i'm going to connect it uh, like that connect my negative lead and I want us to see to read the voltage so you can see how it is uh, charging real fast and guys I'm warning you I'm telling you that you don't do this longer than enough because the output is 19.5 volts and the battery capacity is, uh, is it's rated at 12 volts but I know the tolerance can uh, reach the limit of 14.9 uh, volts so we are still in the safe zone right now So approximately the time that you will use for this whole uh, process will be like uh, between 20 and 30, 30 minutes. That will be enough. So I think now we are ready to go. Uh, let me first switch on, switch off right here, so that I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't cause some electrocution. Okay, so we can go ahead and uh, test the voltage and see how much we've charged uh, so far. Uh, and have, I hook my uh, multimeter. You can see we have 12.4 volts. Uh, that's basically rounded off to 12.5 volts. So I think right now we are ready to start our vehicle. So I'm going to remove these uh, terminals. Uh, connect the vehicle's uh, terminals. And then I think right now I can uh, go ahead and start my engine. There you go. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video, uh, you can share it, if you are new on this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the notification bell, so when a new video comes out, you will be among the first guys to be notified.